The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. She's everywhere, she's always on the go So sit back, relax, and get ready Cause it's the Corey Taylor Talks Show Hello, hello everybody and welcome to Corey Taylor Talks Live from Las Vegas, the number one teen talk show I am like so incredibly excited about my guest today Because I watched his video as I'm sure Literally everybody watching the show today has because it was just a huge viral, viral sensation and for such an incredible reason as it should have been. And um, this man just has so much courage and uh, for him to have gone through what he's gone through and then to help others and bring attention to such a horrible issue of bullying um, that we have discussed on this show a million times um, and is such a horrible, horrible thing and we need to get it to stop. And this man has just truly, I think, Chain, shown so many people how horrible it is and how long it affects you and stuff. So I have the one and only Greg Barrett with me today. Hi, Greg. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing fine. I'm. If I cough, don't freak out because the pollen's so bad here. I'm. I've been coughing. <laughs> oh no! I well, I hope you feel good because the pollen does get very bad here too. But I'm sure nothing compared to other places. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, our cars look like they've been snowed on, but it's pollen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, Greg, I uh, I told a little bit about you, um, but really, I, I can't imagine no one has not seen that video. Um, but I can you tell people a little bit about yourself and uh, why you are here today? Because, um, really, it was just such an incredible video. Sure. Uh, um, I was bullied in junior high. Uh, with the last name of Gay. And I mean, this was teachers, coaches, you know, uh, the teachers every morning started roll with Gay Greg and all the kids would laugh. Mm -hmm. And and then, you know, I would go to the football or, you know, PE or whatever, and they would, they would use the name Gay. They would just call me Gay, which is, I mean, kind of a common practice, but at the same point, all the kids laughed. So it became a problem. Right. And then next thing I know, you know, I'm, I'm getting beat up all the time. And then that led to that day in the lunchroom where uh, there were multiple boys that caught me in the bathroom and beat me up and then shoved my head in the urinal. And that's why I'm here today, because he is now the superintendent for KISD, which is one of the largest school districts in Texas. Wow. And, uh, you know, I think that I, I always said this on my show, too, but um, I really don't think people comprehend teachers and everything can be bullies as well. And you parents, I mean, and you can be bullied from anyone. Everyone thinks, oh, it's just kids bullying each other and stuff and they don't think much about it. But it, it gets so out of hand and um, the teachers are doing bullying as well. And I've. As you could see, the superintendent of your school district, which is just baffling to me, is the one that stuck your head in a urinal. And and it's not like he learned his lesson and he's a changed person and stuff. He sat there and laughed. Like, he literally laughed when you told the story. And so that shows he didn't change one bit since middle school. It didn't seem to bother him a bit. And that's what's so troubling to me. Yes. Because I came forward because I saw another man post on Facebook about his son being bullied about a deceased son. Now, the Ugh. deceased son did not go to, to KISD. He went to another school district. But his younger son confided with his school classmates about his brother dying of, this, of a disease. Well, they started teasing him about it. And picking on him. Oh my gosh. And, you know, it crushed him. Well, when Sean, is the man's name, went to the school district for help, they said there's nothing going on. 
and obviously there was or he wouldn't have been bothered enough to come up there and then okay. I saw how Lance treated him and I was just I was just blown away. I said, this man has not learned anything. No, not at all. Um, no, that, honestly, he seems like a total scumbag. Like, he was, and everyone in the comments section said the same thing. Like, he didn't own up to a thing. And and even if he genuinely didn't remember, which I highly, highly doubt, um, to just laugh about it, he could have said, I'm really sorry, I don't remember, but if I did that, that was horrible. No, you know he remembered, because he was literally laughing about it and that the situation and stuff, and he's a superintendent. I mean, that is just absolutely baffling to me yeah and i mean it, it's mind-blowing to me as well and 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 this started out a few years ago i saw a friend who was also bullied by him that i'm still friends with showed me on facebook where he was a principal for another school district and i was like wow mm. you know I, I said you know it's been a long time maybe he's changed right you know because i mean people do stupid stuff when they're young but they, you know they grow out of it and they mature and they change and then the next thing i know he's elected to the kisd school board you know he's the superintendent the head of all of it and i was like holy cow and i, I still didn't say anything and i was just happened to see that man's post and when i saw that i knew at that point i needed to come forward and tell my story and I, I told that man, I said, I have a story about Lance. And I said, I'm leaving the country. And I said, I'll be back in a week. And I said, I'll get in touch with you then. And so that's what I did. And, and I, I never in my wildest dreams did I think that it would go viral like this. It's, it's, it's been absolutely very humbling for all these people that have come forward and told me their stories of being bullied by other people. Uh, this it was done on a Monday night. Wednesday night I got home, and there were 647 messages on Facebook. Oh my gosh! From all over the world. I'm talking wow. Israel, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, uh, Venezuela, uh, wow. Puerto Rico. I mean, just all over the world. They were sending me messages and telling me their stories of being bullied yeah no and uh, you know i think that really does show um it and we focus more on america because we, we are in america but it's true it is all over the world and i have said it doesn't matter how young or how old you are if you're in school if you're been out of school for 20 years you can be bullied anywhere at any time in your life and i mean they're right. they're just bad people out there and, and that's exactly right. And it leaves a scar. You know, I went on with my life. Uh, from my freshman year in high school forward, I, I never had another problem like that, ever. And, and then my children went through school, the same school district, and they had a little bit of problem, but nothing like what I had. Of course, my wife was working at the school district, and there was an incident with my daughter where it started, and my wife said, went up there and said, this is going to stop now. And it did. It, it, it stopped for them. But now I have a grandson that's going to be coming up and going through the school system, too. And I want it safe. I want it safe for him. You know, we have these kids at, like, Parkland where he yeah. shot up the school, and, and, and those people are admitting they burned him. Right. And Which you led him to do this horrible thing. I, I don't want that happening here. My family's been in Katy since 1898. Wow. So you can't imagine the amount of relatives that have gone through this school system. And I just don't, you know, I care a lot about it. And I just don't want these kids that are in there now to have to go through anything like that. No, absolutely. And, you know, that's also what I wanted to say. I, a lot of bullies, like, they think, oh, the worst that can happen is 
the kid kills himself and and that is just horrific and you have bullies that think that way but then on top of it if they really want to think like that and think oh the worst that can happen is that person hurts himself no there are that's how majority of the school shootings and stuff did happen exactly like you said because they were bullied and no that is not an excuse and it's absolutely horrifying and the kid also uh, had mental health issues and everything but uh, probably one of the main reasons he did that was because he was bullied and so yeah. I, and it's horrible so that's where it starts and then they put him on drugs psychotic drugs to help them get through this and it, I think it escalates the problem yeah yeah no it just it's a it's a horrible thing and and I think now little by little um some school districts are starting to get it and to understand more and they're becoming uh more uh aggressive towards bullying and stuff but you have so many school districts and countries and everything that don't care and they're not getting involved and with social media it is just getting a million times worse so i think it's people like you that are really amazing that are out there and showing people how horrible it is and showing that even at your age now it it hurts i'm it really hurts you've been out of school for years but you're still it it hurts you it's always going to affect you that that's exactly right and it changed me for the rest of my life uh you know when this very first happened i'm going to be really honest here (laughs) so I was very angry at the gay community because that is what I was being accused of as being gay, right. homosexual. And I was very angry, but as I matured, <laughs> I understood it had nothing to do with them, yeah. nothing at all. You know, and, and so, you know, I, I, I regret, you know, my thought process back then but i was young you know and 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 i was being accused of something i'm not you understand what i'm saying oh absolutely and you know and there we go again you matured and you understood that your thoughts were wrong and everything but apparently this superintendent who is literally in charge of the whole school district there it didn't mature one bit and so i think that right there just shows um the different type of people you really are Yes, and, and, and that's exactly right, and that's part of the problem, and I think that's what people are so angry about. It's not what he did to me. It's how he acted after I said what I said. There was yeah. absolutely no compassion, no empathy, Mm-mm. nothing. No. You know, he, he literally laughed. Yeah, and and I also want to talk about. Um, you said uh, that you you put a you got you put a gun to your head as well, correct? Yeah. And so, what made you uh, not do it? Because unfortunately, we we get a lot of letters and stuff from kids who have thought about taking their lives and everything, and um, and we always find them help and everything. But there's a lot of people out there. What made you not decide to take your life that day? Well. Uh... You know, I don't know how to describe it. I, I don't know if it was, uh, you know, I, I just don't know how to describe it. I, I had the pistol in my mouth, and I felt like a blood rush all over my body, like, you, like you're flushed. Do you kind of understand what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Like you're embarrassed or something, you know, and you, and you flush. My whole body did that, wow. and it was just like I had a feeling of calm and everything would be okay and then i think it was like two weeks later my father was transferred and my whole life changed overnight wow wow thank god you know and and uh and it shows that i and i'm sure you have an amazing life now and uh and i mean it could have all been over on that day because these kids decided to bully you and uh that's just it's it's horrifying Yes, that, that's exactly right. I mean, you know, it, it, it's just, you know, people need to know to not give up. Yeah. Don't ever give up. You know, and, and people say, well, why, did, why didn't you stand up for yourself and fight this guy? I did. I fought him many times. We fist fought many times. But he, you know, in junior high, he was six foot. I was, you know, 
three foot, <laughs> four foot, you know? Yeah. He was big. He was big. He was a football star. Yeah. And and that's why his whole, all the way through school, I mean, I don't know if you've seen all the reports now that have come out, but there's been a judge, there's been other students that he bullied have now come out, and he was protected all the way through school until he got to college because he was a football star. Yeah. And so they looked the other way. Yeah. You know, he, he wasn't ever seriously punished. Wow. And, and, and I mean, you the know, man beat a man till he was in a coma. Wow. wow. Yes, I mean, that's it's been all over the news. And, I mean, I, I didn't know anything about that. I you didn't know, I hear that, no. I had no idea no. all these other things. I only knew what happened to me and what happened to other kids when we were in junior high. See, and wow. when it went to high school, he went to one high school and I went to another because gotcha. of where we lived. Thank goodness, because yeah. <laughs> I mean yeah. that could he could have gone on and on, and it sounds like he did. Uh, I mean, to to put someone in a coma, I didn't, I did not hear about that at all. That is just baffling. Yes, and and uh, there's a police report on it, but because it was settled out of court with cash mm. it was never you know it was basically dismissed wow because of that yes i mean he, the guy was in a coma for five days or something like that oh my gosh i, I had no and idea that guy's about been that. on the news i mean he came forward and he said i was hoping this would happen he said i've been waiting for the news to come to me because yeah. of what this man did to me well, and see you right there. And, you know, I want to tell you, Greg, I really, I, I don't know if you realize how much of an effect you had on people. Because, like, even myself, I was bullied horribly, especially uh, in elementary school, which is just crazy to me. Uh, in elementary and middle school, I was just terribly, terribly, terribly bullied. And I would literally come home crying every day. And, um, and it, I mean, hearing you talk to that man and, and confront him and tell your story and not only try to not only confronting him, but really trying to make a difference in that school district and telling them, hey, you guys need to pay attention to this. I mean, that I really it affected so many people. And I think that is just absolutely incredible, Greg. Yes, thank you. And, and <coughs> sorry. Yes, I mean, it's it's literally gone worldwide and i mean and it's and and yes the school district means so much to me but you know fixing the problem can start here and spread yeah you know that that's what i'm looking for the the problem to be fixed and then once they see that it's working it can spread definitely yeah, and, and and I think that is such an important thing, and I really think um, you saying that will help. And I think um, maybe that superintendent, I don't think he'll ever truly uh, honestly learn his lesson, but maybe he can at least help and make the school district a better place because he does have so much power there. And maybe, just maybe, he can try and fix the problem now because he'll never mature as a person, but maybe he can do something about it now. Yeah, and that's my hope. And I mean, throughout this whole thing, and a lot of people, you know, were not happy with me because I'm not calling for his job. Uh, There's a petition that has like over 5,000 signatures now to have him removed. Go ahead. But I I think in my own mind that he's the perfect person to fix the job because he went through the entire system. Yeah. And, and he knows the loopholes and why he got through the system without ever facing any consequences for what he was doing. That's true. No, that I, yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's completely true. Wow. I mean, I hope, but I mean, to me, I'm so disappointed that he, even if he said, I don't remember doing that, I'm sorry that that happened to right. you. That's the step he needs to take. Yeah. And, and instead of total denial, you know, he's total denial. I don't even remember you. No, no, no. You know. 
And I was going to say, he, he never once apolo- or said anything ever admitted to it at anywhere in any of the news things he's done afterwards, correct? That's correct. Wow. And he's issued three letters and, and, uh, and not once admitted to anything, nothing. He just said that, you know, he did some things when he was young and, uh, you know, he matured and, and he found God and he no longer has that problem. But I mean, in, in one of the statements he gave before the board, he said, nobody can judge me but God. And, and I mean, that really angered a lot of people, too. Now, I am a Christian, but at the same point, your, your whole school district is going to judge you by your actions. That's right. And in this case, worldwide, he's been judged by his actions. Yeah. No, and I, and I think rightfully so. Yeah, and I was going to say I'm a Christian, too, but... I think also the whole point of it is to be a good person and to actually admit to your wrongdoings and actually try and be a good light in this world. And I'm sorry, but the way he handled this situation and is continuously handling the situation, I don't think that shows he's a good person at all. And I I don't even know if he's found God, honestly, because he just sounds like a horrible and, and, person. And I agree with that. I, I, I agree with that completely. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, really, I think you are just so amazing. And I'm so happy to hear that people from around the world has uh, have reached out to you and everything. And has it mostly been all positive? Have you gotten any people being negative there's, people? <laughs> there has not been one negative message that I got through Facebook. Wow. With the exception <laughs> of, of right after this happened, there was a... a woman that sent me a message on facebook you know how they connect with you but they just leave a message right and i accepted her friendship well she saw i voted for trump and she was furious Uh. and called me a hypocrite and everything else she was going all over (laughs) facebook post and and so then i had to lock my my facebook down Uh. And, and it, it's so angry to me because both sides of the aisle here agree that this is a problem. And why can't we work together to fix the problem, no matter who you voted for? Right. We, it's, it's, a, it's a problem that we all know is there, and we can work together to fix it. And, you know, I, I, th- I was going to say, it doesn't, this had nothing to do with politics at all. Like, it didn't have anything. Right. The whole thing is bullying, and that's what everyone should be focused on. It doesn't matter what you've been through. Instead, the whole thing was bullying. It, didn't, it doesn't matter who you voted for or anything. That is just, that's crazy to me, too. Absolutely. Uh, yes, and I mean, that, and I tried. I argued with her for about an hour, you know. That we're on the same side here. Let's 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 not tear each other apart right. because of our political views. That has nothing to do with this. Wow. You know, and and she would, and then I finally just had to block it. You know, and, and turn and it, it off. But you know, the messages. Uh, even some of them were video messages. I've never had that before. You know. Uh, I've got a computer and I play games on it and read Facebook and news and stuff like that on it. But, you know, I don't have a video camera hooked up to it or anything like that. And, and I mean, uh, this woman from Israel sent me a video message and that was the first video message I got. I got many after that, but, and I was like, wow, this is unbelievable. Here's this woman. I can see her and she is pouring her heart out to me. And she's in Israel. That's just crazy. It was so amazing, you know? Absolutely. No, and Greg, you you seem like an amazing person, and it doesn't matter who you voted for. And I think people are so focused on stuff like that these days, and that's just going to cause more separation and more bullying and more problems in the world instead of focusing on coming together and 
actually fixing the actual issues we are going through today. So, but I think you're an incredible person. I, I think what you did was amazing and so brave. Thank you. Uh, I would like to share one story. Yes, absolutely. And uh, a woman, she was from Ohio. I don't want to say her name or anything, but she sent me a message and said that her son had watched the video and had come home and showed her the video and then told her he was being bullied at school and he was thinking about committing suicide <sighs> and wanted help. Well, and I mean, I, I, you know, I teared up. Yeah, you, know, you t- <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, it, it may have saved somebody's life. Literally, and honestly, I think way more than just him. I think you really saved way way more lives than you can even imagine and you're you will continue to because the video i'm sure will just keep getting more and more popular and just build more and more people up and i i I really i think you're saving many lives not just his and that is just an unbelievable story too that's incredible well i i hope so you know because you know i i didn't think of that you know when i got up there and said that i just I wanted to bring attention to the problem that we're having right here in my home school district. Right. And knowing that all of these other, you know, school shootings and stuff that had happened, most of these kids were bullied. Yes, they mentally ill or whatever, but maybe that's why they were mentally ill is because they were bullied. We will, you know, we don't know. We don't know the whole story, but you know, I, I just, I just, it needs to be fixed. <laughs> just something that needs to be fixed. These are our kids. They're our future. Yes. Yeah, exactly. They are the future. And, uh, and it really is people like you that are changing it and helping make the future a better place and making it better for the kids and actually making them bear, be able to bear life and uh, the horrible things that people will say to them. And I think that's really awesome. So, once again, thank you truly so much for being on. It was such, such an honor. Thank you for having me. And, I, I, and you know, I just, I hope it gets out there and, and more people understand. Just don't give up. Never yes. give up. No. And I, that's the most that's important thing. That's not the answer. Most important thing is to never give up, and everyone's life is worth so much. And and I'm sure, like I said, you have such amazing things that have happened to you after, and it could have all ended on that day. So really, thank you so much for being on this and showing people that. Well, thank you again for having me. Yes, and um, are, 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 do you have uh, anywhere people can follow you and keep up to date or uh, where people can help um, get involved and maybe help stop the bullying. Are you doing anything with that? Well, uh, there's a group that has started for the Katy School District. It's a private group. <laughs> and they are working together now, and I'm part of this, on what the rules are now and how they're handled and what we can do to maybe implement you know, new policy to help this, help this yeah. situation. Because as it stands now, if if a kid is being bullied and he fights back, they're both punished. Yes. And I mean, this happened to me as well. I mean, that's that's the way it's been handled. Right. And that's not right. No, it's not, not uh, at all. If, if you're being bullied and you defend yourself, if somebody hits you first, you should be able to defend yourself. Absolutely without taking the repercussions and and i think that's you know a start anyway but they've got to stop protecting uh you know specific kids that are either in you know some type of sports or they're you know from a very wealthy family and uh you know that they need to stop being protected and yeah. they need to face these consequences because they grow up and and here you go you have lance yeah. you know <laughs> no absolutely <laughs> went through the whole thing and never paid any consequences for nope. what he was doing the whole never. time until now <laughs> yeah, yeah i hope he's paying now. for it now at least yep 
Well, uh, thank you so, so much, Greg, for being on, and I hope everyone goes and follows that, and then I hope everyone individually in their own school districts and across the world help and make a change. So uh, thank you so, so much again for being on, Greg. Thank you. And, and if people send me messages on Facebook, you know, I told you there were 457. It took me, uh, I think it was four days <laughs> to oh my get goodness. through those, and more were coming in every day, you know. <laughs> And it, it took me four days to get through those, but I read every single one, every one. Awesome. That's incredible. So if, if they want to send me a message on Facebook, then more power to them because <laughs> it helps to, you know, open up about this stuff. I, I think it helps because some people don't have anybody to tell. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I th And that's so cool of you to do that. Well, thank you so much, Greg, and I hope you have an incredible day, and I hope this just gets more and more attention, and I'm sure it will, because it, it has gotten so much already, so I'm, I'm sure it will get so much more. So thank you so much. And thank you for having me again. I, um, I appreciate it. Awesome. Well, thank you, and have a great day. You too. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And uh, remember, never give up, always believe, and you'll achieve. Thank you and God bless.